can be sure as he makes this walk tonight, he's thinking about just how quickly he can get this fight to the ground and utilize those aforementioned high-level submission skills. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. If you just push. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now we're producing his opponent. Fighting! This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 18 wins, 4 losses, and 1 draw. He stands 6 feet tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Leon Santos! You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. Ready. You ready to fight? All right, so here we go. The weight and the height gives way to the action right here on one side. Maybe the division's most well-rounded fighter, taking on arguably the biggest submission for that because he's such a great submission grappler, I believe that this is the most dangerous fight for him in the division. Wow. He needs to maintain his space, stay away from this guy at all costs, and force him to stand up with him. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Nice stick with the right hand. Powerful leg kick lands. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Big fall punch land. Now he gets back to range. has been opened up here. Left hand punch to the clinch. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, right punch followed by a left there by Lee. Just out of the range with that right hand. And they separate. Good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Nice punch lands over the top. And he comes through with a big knee. Oh! Just missed with the left there. Lee going for the leg kick. Nothing doing there. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Oh, nice strike landed there by Lee. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Changes his stance. Back to orthodox. Oh, uppercut to the head. Let's get 
Just misses there with the left. Beautiful body kiss. That's a big strike right there. Looping left hand misses the target. Santos gets caught by that straight hand. Back and forth we go. Right hand puts the clinch. Uh, these knees are really starting to pile up. Good combination of knees there by Lee. Nice stick with the right hand. Checks that leg kick. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. A little single collar tie there. Lee's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of struggle. All right, so now we are on the ground. Now he is in his wheelhouse. We'll see if he can get one of his submissions to pop here tonight. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. I love a grappling to really be entertaining. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. The beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. 20 seconds left. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. First round winding down here. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are gonna be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're gonna see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. Sit down. Slow that breath. Relax and listen. That was perfect, okay? You're doing really good. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here. He doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Santos gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Orthodox now. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Left hand punch to the clinch. He changes the angle, finds the right spot to land that punch to the head from the clinch. Unable to connect with a right hook. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. And they separate. What a punch. Look at the skip action that allows you to land that big knee. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. And they separate. Lee's lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Right up the elbow. He blocks the punch. Nice loop and punch. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Right hand punch to the clinch. Clinch work. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Three minutes now to go in round two. Well, it's one, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. And now he's 
got the tight Back to push position. This is where he has done a ton of good work here. Punch, punch, punch to the head. The oh, that punch will count. Landed flush. Game of inches right there, yeah. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Shot there, DC. I'm not sure how he stayed up with it. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talks to your toughness. Oh, straight right. All right, so both fighters now sort of struggling for position here in the clinch. When you find yourself in this situation, what do you do to get out of it? Anytime it's very tough, anytime you're chest to chest, you have nowhere to go, I think to myself, underhook. Whoever's winning the underhook is winning the clinch battle. You wonder if the offensive fighter's gonna start to get frustrated here. Most stiff on all these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Oh! Lee goes for the clinch here. Looks like he's trying to recover. He was stunned a little bit earlier. Let's see if he can get a respite here. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that thing. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh! Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. Get right here. He closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Swing and a miss by Santos. Single collar tie now. Takedown defense holds up. Look at that switch knee. Beautiful switch knee. Oh, strong punch there by Lee. Oh, nice knee to the body. Very nice. He understands that doing the body work will pay dividends the longer the fight goes. Stuffs the takedown. No problem. Ooh. What a body kick. And that's the end of round number two. All right, so there's the end of the round. He has been committed to that body work all night. Certainly paid off over those previous five minutes. Yeah, he's investing in the body. He's not taking out withdrawals. He's depositing into body punching, and now it's showing itself. He's made an investment. Let's see how that investment pays off as we go forward. Always better to be making a deposit than a withdrawal. Oh, yeah, you got to stop taking withdrawals in all situations of your life. Your relationship, your, your, your fighting, everything. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. All right, single collar tie now. Just missed with that right hand. Changes his stance. You'll see a lot of this from this fighter. Got the single collar tie. Oh, and he is getting tagged repeatedly. Nice combination of strikes up top. Oh, beautiful combination of top. I don't understand why the guy is not moving his head. Get your head moving, sir. right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. And he's looking for that left hand just missed. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. that kick. Straight to the body by Santos. Oh, now get more dominant position. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Stuff the takedown, no problem. 
Yet again, they will clinch here. And that punch, no good. Oh, he landed that knee to the midsection. Got to think his opponent's going to feel that one in the morning. And he's going to continue to throw that strike because he knows that his opponent can't take many of them. Well, at this point, he's got to be way up on the judges' scorecards, clearly winning the fight, and largely has gotten it done with his strike. Got it done with his strike. He fought well behind the jab, but it was significant strikes that really did make an impact on the judges' mind. It's nice stick with the right hand. Shot there is blocked. Perfect, perfect. You're doing great. Relax. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent into position where he can get off the strikes. Great punch. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. And now he's hurt. That's one of those shots that if you take one of them, if you end the night, that one landed right on the spot. And they separate. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give Oh, big knee! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh, single collar tie here. And they separate. As he gets close, he's out of the kicking range. All of a sudden, he'll change his stance. strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Nice strike. Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. right now. He's seeing Tweety Birds over the top of his head. He take a look like that. He's out! He's done! He's done! Woo! Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So, a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched it. I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors played a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at 4 minutes, 47 seconds of the third round. Defending the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And got to be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight, he did exactly that. Congratulations.